Hi everyone and welcome back, I'm Snookus, this is another episode in our This is Persia campaign. And, well, we've done some expansion here, we've blobbed out a little bit, we still have a lot of rebellions here just waiting to get strike at the best opportunity. But, uh, fortunately they haven't yet and hopefully they won't. Uh, Yorkshire is still mad at us as the little grumpy middle child here that they are, uh, while Sherwin is... A good little servant for us. We probably should try to take this as soon as possible as well, but I'm a bit afraid that it's gonna anger the Timurids, although they already want all of our territory anyway, so I guess it's not a bit that big of a worry. Anyway, we are marching down here to Hassa to try and take them as soon as possible. I'm considering vassalizing Hassa and then in a future expansion down here on the uh, um, Arabian Peninsula, uh, just feeding a new territory to them. And that might actually be what I do. Let's... What the fuck? Oh, no. That's not what I wanted to check, but sure. Um, Hedjas. Let's just check how large Hedjas, Hedjas army is. 6,000? 7,000, I mean. So, not a big worry. And Hasa is 5,000. So, together they have 12,000, which is pretty much half of our army. Um, Our full army. I'm so freaking glad for the Uzbek just providing a defensive little core for us here. Unfortunately, Kazan has pretty much uh, countered them in terms of size there. I would like Crimea to expand out a bit, but I suppose as soon as we get um, Turkey, we could start attacking the Golden Horde and using Crimea to our advantage there. To try to get them to lob out and try to lob out ourselves a bit. Okay, so anyway, let's uh, start off this war down here. And to do that, I suppose we should take the newest tech. Let's see here. The first, we have feudalism. Uh, Renaissance will start in um, Italy, here in no man's land. And slowly expand over here. But I suppose as soon, the Ottomans are always very quick to... Uh, adopt the new institutions, so pro hopefully we will get um, the renaissance pretty quickly and our lag behind on the tech won't start until uh, colonialism, will, which will start uh, far away in Iberia. Anyway, uh, let's, let's go! Yep, no reason to deal with Ali here. Do any of you have any siege? You do, so let's move you there instead. Coastal desert and desert, so no uh, tactical reasons to move either way there. Desert, we should try to get this case, in. we can't because of this fort. Right, I'm actually really looking forward to the new fort mechanics which are coming with the um, following expansions or just patches, I can't remember. Do these guys have have these guys given um, military access to the hedges? Yes, they have. So we can expect some hedges showing up up here in our territory. So let's just leave one of our armies down here to deal with Hasa, and the other to deal with hedges. Okay, so the Renaissance just fired. We I don't think we can find out which where it fired, maybe. Yeah, Montferrat, which is northern Italy, which I believe is to our advantage because it would spread through mainland Europe faster than if it's starting in like Naples and had to spread through the sea. We can lose some prestige and get some money. I think that's preferable. I don't see us being able to um, uh, convert our nation anyway. Not in a <clears throat> Not in a few decades, anyway. Some more um, British, that's nice. We are close to getting to where we were um, before we disinherited our son. The bastard. Our new son is... Our new daughter is much better. I'm um, quite happy with that exchange, actually. We are closing up on the year in which we can t um, annex uh, Sherwin. It will be in four years. 
actually want to hire a few troops here just to um, let's do it, do it this way. Um, make sure that we don't get disloyal vassals here. Your church actually, actually um, closing in on being loyal again, which will be nice because then we will get some money and we will get some troops. They are actually paying us some. Even though they're disloyal. So that's cool. And another thing here. When we actually have taken all of the, Iberian Pen the Arabian Peninsula. Uh, we will get some sort of a trade boost. Which I look forward to. Because our financials aren't the best. But um, hopefully they will be eventually. We didn't have anything with vassals, did we? I don't think so. Um, absent merchant, sure. We need all the map, all the monarch powers that we can. They're pretty precious for. Holy shit! That's amazing. That's gonna like save our whole run. We pretty much just guaranteed to get no, no revolts at all. Amazing. Sometimes the the game is great. Hey, we are a great power. Don't know how we managed that, but sure. I'm not one to complain. Okay, they, they don't seem to be wanting to show up up here, so... Uh, holy shit. Okay, the Ottomans are slowly moving our way. Although we are guaranteed by Timurids still, I believe. No, they have stopped guaranteeing us, unfortunately. But we still have Uzbek on our side and Crimea. Crimea River. And um, I'm not gonna stop using that. Horrible joke. Okay, so we soon we have soon um, pacified all of Hassa. So now let's just move into the rest of. Um, you don't have any siege, do you? No. To the rest of Hejaz here. We're gonna beeline it for Maka with our siege army. Okay, here they are. Fucking up our region. The dicks. The dicks that they are. Okay, so we could do this. Uh, I'm actually gonna save it for now. Um, simply because all of the annexation, the diplomatic annexation we're gonna do. Okay, fuck. What, what the hell do they want? Um, they seem hellbent to try and just... Um, what's it called? Annoy me. Bukti Separatist, Mosul and Kisra. Mosul is like... Okay, I, I don't know my Iraqi geography. Um, Overextension, over we're working on that. War exhaustion, we're working on that as well. Uh, the rest, well, it, should, uh, it shouldn't be a worry. We should win this war soonish. And after that, all of those things should work themselves out. Conquer Malatya. Malatya, is there anywhere, anywhere we know of? Malatya, it's here. I mean, this is another philosophy. We could try to take as much of the Anatolian provinces as possible and try to deprive the Ottomans of any expansion opportunities. I mean, it's a philosophy. I don't know. Um, they have pre a pretty huge army to begin with anyway. I don't really see... 47,000, we have like 29. I guess with our vassals we could probably... Okay, sure, let's... Um... I actually convinced myself there. Um, taking Malatya would, and trying to take these ones as well, would deprive the Ottomans of any natural expansion opportunities, and it would probably be a good idea to do just that, since they, they are going to be our prime enemy in the future. Okay, so either lose prestige and gain local autonomy, or gain corruption. We can't afford the corruption, uh, I'm sorry to say, so um, let's lose some prestige there. Money-wise, let's do this then, I guess. Um, yeah. I want to end this war as soon as possible, so that we can get some money to fill our coffers with. 
Let's see if they still want to go here. Mountains. They get there on the 9th. We get there on the 13th. Let's not then. Our manpower is pretty uh, important to keep up. Okay, is there any chance we can... Okay, that's our first loan. Okay, we can maybe catch them. We did. Cool. Okay, nice. Now, let's split up. Take as little attrition as possible. And loot as much as possible. I mean, let's just look at this province. It has... Um, it have... It has... Seven um, ducats just in that, and then we're... I mean, consider all of the promises, it's gonna be quite a lot. Quite substantial. Yeah, I'm not that worried, to be honest. It's because of our tech penalty. Um, I mean, it is what it is. Venice. Right, we finished that mission. I forgot. I totally forgot about it. Uh, yep, let's keep improving there. Uh, these guys are still happy with us, and uh, they're not important enough to warrant getting their, or their own diplomat, so I'm not gonna do much with that. Okay, um, so our monarch died, which isn't too terrible in itself, because he was pretty terrible, um, which would give us a regional council, but because no child can be Khan, she dies, even though she was pretty great, and yeah, okay. We get a new Shah instead. Shah, Shah. Is the new Arthur Jones 142? I mean, it's decent. I would like some extra administrative, but it is what it is. A new Khan, which is decent as well. Could be worse. Uh, yep, Royal Marshal Uzbek sounds great. That's a good Khanum, though. Looking forward to that. Hopefully. Well, there are there are some years in, in which. Although, as we are a tribe, I suppose, uh, if uh, our um, Shah dies before. Uh, our um, Shazade is 15, we will simply lose the Shazade and get a new monarch. Okay, so establish Shaikh ul Islam office, which will give us missionary strength, sure. Denouncement of sect practices, sure. Okay, so we could reform the government, right? not right now, but in the future. Um, I don't really get what the change would be. I mean, we wouldn't be a tribe anymore, um, evidently. Um, so we would get those uh, buffs there that you can see extra tax and extra income from vessels and so on. But the tech penalty isn't there since there aren't tech groups anymore. So I don't really see the... The reasoning for it, as it were, before the um, Right to Man expansion. Well, anyway, let's take all their money and stuff. Could we vassalize these if we want to do? No. No, we couldn't. Okay. Um, yeah, let's get some... Uh, some uh, prestige. Max out on prestige. And... Uh, could get them to release Shamar, but I believe we would have a truce against them anyway, so not really a use to doing that. Can we take anything? I don't know. I mean, 
You know what? Let's just do it like this and then we can declare war on them later on again. Two years until we can annex Sherwan, so... <sighs> again, really? Although, at least we got a... No, we didn't get a better Canum. Anyway. Okay, so we have an uprising soon. And the size of it would be... 12,000. We can deal with 12,000. It's not the end of the world. Let's try to get everyone home. Oh, I totally missed this. Anyway, doesn't really matter. Right, um, we can annex these guys in two years, so until that time, let's not do that until we fix the war. Um, we, we, we will till, take Casa as another vessel, uh, simply because I don't think we could handle having them taking their provinces. Let's take this anyway, so we can uh, declare war um, in this direction later on. Uh, anything else we want to do? Don't think so. No, that seems reasonable. Okay. Uh, because they will be our vessel now, right? Yep, they will. Okay. Uh, now we will have enough money to pay back that loan, which we'll do right away. We will also... Lower all the forts, except where it is, Mosul and Sikhre. So let's keep that one on. Uh, our armies should be focused on Mosul and uh, Sikhre. Cool. Okay, uh, now you guys are going to be mad at us because, yeah, you, you're simply going to be. Hey, your J is finally positive. Cool. Let's get the uh, royal march with <sighs> everyone is disloyal. This freaking world. Uh, anyway, we are just gonna top it off with uh, Sherwan and get. I rather lose the ducats, honestly. Sure, we can remove the, the diplomat from um, Uzbek. Can we play the relative on the throne? I guess it's possible that that isn't as um, useful for um, tribes, since um, if the if the Khan dies before or the Shah dies before um, uh, before the heir is uh, old enough, they simply replace the dynasty on the throne instead of um, getting a relative. Oh, do look at that. What does it do if we give them... Uh, okay, we can't give them that. Removes local autonomy. Local man permit fire. Okay. So, sure, uh, this place, place seems fine, I guess. Grain should be better. Are they happy now? Oh, okay. You can have rock as well. How much do you want? Uh, they want 30%. Okay, we can fix that. Oh, and then they're happy. Okay, cool. Uh, we want to core this little promise here, and we also want to increase autonomy. Let's do that just to keep these pro um, rebels under wraps. I know I'm a bit liberal with all the increased autonomy, but it's um, an easy and effective way to ensure that no revolts happen. 
Okay, it seems like we've um, finally subdued, subdued these guys. Something like that. Okay. Um, we're gonna increase with you as well. Actually, first we wanna get... All right, they are disloyal, so they won't uh, royal marriage us. That's something for the future. Anyway, the 20 minutes are up, and this, that's the end for our episode. Uh, for the next episode, I imagine we're gonna go after Dilkadir, or possibly these guys here, and try to give some areas to Shervan, both to get them more loyal, and because we are going to um, annex them so soon. And uh, getting these promises through the annexation of Shervan will give us automatic cores, which are better, I believe. Anyway, um, please leave a like if you feel like, and um, please consider subscribing, otherwise I'll see you next episode. Bye!